Hello everyone and welcome to another very beautiful and a very interactive chess game of Paul Morphy in the Paul Morphy's chess game series. And in this game Paul Morphy has the white pieces and his opponent is James Thompson, one of the strongest chess masters in the first American Chess Congress. And this game was played in New York in 1857. Paul Morphy starts the game with playing e4, c5, Sicilian defense, knight to f3, knight to c6, d4, c takes on d4, knight takes on d4, e6, all the standard moves by both players, bishop to e3, bishop to e7, knight to c3, h6, bishop to d3, d5, bishop to b5, pinning the knight, bishop to d7, unpinning the knight, e takes on d5, pawn takes pawn, knight takes on d5, Knight to f6, knight takes knight, bishop takes knight, c3, and both players castled. Queen to c7, queen to a3, rook from f to e8, rook from a to d1, rook to e4. Bishop takes knight, bishop takes bishop, queen to c2, saving the queen. Bishop to e5, attacking on h2. And Paul Morphy is simply defending with playing g3. Bishop takes knight and Paul Morphy captures the bishop with the c-pawn. And pinning the bishop on c6. Queen to e7, unpinning, d5. Attacking the bishop. Bishop to d7, bishop to c5. Attacking the queen. Rook to c8, pinning the bishop. Well, relatively pinning the bishop, of course. So Paul Morphy captures the queen. Rook takes queen. Bishop to a3, defending on b2. b5. Rook from f to e1, attacking the rook. f5, f3, challenging the rook. Rook takes rook, rook takes rook. Rook to d2, attacking the pawn. And how to defend the pawn? Well, Paul Morphy is defending the pawn with playing d6, defending with the bishop. a5, threatening to play b4, trapping the bishop. So Paul Morphy played bishop to c5, b4, rook to e7, attacking the bishop. And Thompson played rook to d5. And can you guess the next move of Paul Morphy? Paul Morphy is a pawn up. And now, Thompson is attacking the bishop, but also Paul Morphy is attacking the light square bishop. So what is the best move in this position? Well, Paul Morphy played bishop takes on b4, sacrificing the bishop temporarily. Before losing the bishop, Paul Morphy decides to capture another pawn. A takes on b4, rook takes on d7, king to f8, rook to b7, attacking on b4, rook to d4, king to f2, activating the king, rook takes on d6, rook takes on b4. And now, Paul Morphy has two dangerously passed pawns. And it's not going to be easy for black to stop both of these pawns. And black is in trouble. Black is losing in this position. So there is almost nothing for black to do in this position for stopping these pawns. Only if white blunders. But of course it's unlikely for Paul Morphy to blunder in this position. Because as you know, Paul Morphy is one of the most accurate players in the history of chess. But Thompson is not resigning. And he is hoping for some kind of blunders by Paul Morphy. He played rook to d2 check, king to e3, rook takes on h2, a4. And Paul Morphy is marching his pawns for promoting a queen. Rook to c2, a5. Rook to c5, attacking the pawn but defending with the rook. King to e7, b4, attacking the rook. Rook to c8, d5. Rook to b8, a6 leaving the pond.
and Thompson is not capturing the bait. He played king to d7. Well, of course, if rook takes on b5, a7, it's impossible for black to stop this a pawn. So we have king to d7, b6, again offering the pawn for free. King to c6, double attacking the pawn, b7, king to b6, a7. And if rook takes on b7, a pawn promotes to a queen. So Thompson desperately played rook to e8, check, king to f4. And still he is not resigning. And still he is waiting for Paul Morphy to make a blunder. But of course, Paul Morphy almost never blunders. So king takes on b7. Paul Morphy losing a pawn, but Paul Morphy pushed the a pawn and promoted to a queen. Rook takes queen, rook takes rook, king takes rook. And Paul Morphy played the move and Thompson resigned. Well, Paul Morphy simply played king takes on f5. And this is all over for James Thompson. And only now he resigned. But of course he could resign earlier. That was a very hopeless position because Paul Morphy had two passed pawns. And now Paul Morphy is going to collect these pawns and then he's going to promote a queen. And let me demonstrate the possible continuations only for entertainment, of course. So if Thompson would not resign, let's say h5, king to g6, and let's play as fast as possible for saving time. King to e6, king to g5, king to f5, king to f8, g4, king to g8, king to g6. And as you can see, this is losing for black after g7. Black is forced to play king to h7, king to h7, king to f7, king to h6, g pawn, promoted to a queen, king to h5, queen to g4, king to h6, queen to g6. That's checkmate at move 64. So in the real game, after move 48, James Thompson had enough in this position and he resigned. A very beautiful endgame skills by Paul Morphy. And this chess game is also an instructive chess game for showing how to play in the endgame by Paul Morphy. So I hope you have enjoyed watching this video and I hope to see you next time. Take care.